during a motorcycle ride near Houston, Texas in June of 2006. Clint Mayfield's leather jacket slipped off the back of his bike and became tangled in the bike's chain, seizing the rear wheel. Clint was thrown over the front of the bike at 70 miles per hour, landing head first on the asphalt. Later that night, Clint's wife, Andrea, got a phone call about the accident. I was instantly worried, shocked, and just kind of stunned. I didn't know any details, so it was really it was scary. Emergency responders called for a life flight to a trauma center in Austin, Texas. Clint and Andrea's pastor, Don Norton, was also contacted and drove to the hospital. We were praying as we drove, and uh, I was just trying to, uh, trying to hear the voice of God about the situation because I knew I'd be wa walking into a very difficult situation and wanted to be an encouragement to them. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, when you get to the hospital, I want you to tell them that Clint will recover all. You know, don't, don't worry about what's happened here. Don't look at the situation. Don't look at the circumstances. Uh, don't, don't, uh, don't put too much stock in what the prognosis is. Uh, Clint is gonna recover all. Clint had severely damaged the frontal and temporal lobes of his brain and was in a coma. Doctors said if he survived, he may need full-time care for the rest of his life. He was just bleeding and had all these IVs everywhere and he was on a ventilator and he was bleeding out of his ears. It was, it was probably the, the worst situation I had ever seen. The medical community did not expect him to survive. Their family gathered in prayer at the hospital, and word went out to their church community to pray for Clint's survival. Whenever we felt like, you know, we needed to, to pray, we would, you know. That's what we needed to do to stay focused and remind ourselves about, you know, our promise that he was gonna be healed and that we just had to have patience, even though everything looked really bad, to, stay hopeful. Despite the prognosis, they continue to wait and pray for a miracle. I know what I know, but I also know that anything's possible with God. They exhibited faith through this entire situation, the likes of which I've rarely seen in 35 years of pastoring. There's just too much prayer going up for him to not come out of this. Andrea clung to the Word of God for hope. Church members gave her cards with Bible verses about God's power to heal and restore. I would read them to myself. I would read them to Clint. I would just kind of whisper them to him in his ear. That would help ground me and bring me back to, that's, I have to hold on. <laughs> you know, that's my answer. Or, you know, that's, that's what God's Word says, so I have to believe it. God's Word is true and that it never comes back void, whatever his promise is. Andrea waited and prayed through days of progress and setbacks. His um, internal cranial pressures would go up or his blood pressure would get really high or he um, would have a high fever, you know, things like that. And they were afraid maybe he'd start to have seizures, you know, things like that. Then, you know, it, it would constantly just kind of go up and down, you know, he was doing good, and then, you know, things were getting bad. Finally, after two weeks in a coma, they had a breakthrough. While surrounded by his family, Clint woke up. And he sat up and his eyes got big and he was like, oh, you know, like, I know them. Over the next several months, Clint recovered mentally and physically beyond doctor's expectations. Though he says he had to relearn even the simplest of tasks. I don't know if everybody's like this, but you get brain damage, and guess what? You might get to grow up again, having to relearn all kinds of things again, like how to do just about everything. <laughs> Clint and Andrea believe his recovery was miraculous and an answer to prayer. You just have to be able to know that God will take care of you, whatever it is. Trust in God with everything. They were just steady, they prayed, they walked in faith and they received their miracle. And the fact that Clint was able to overcome that kind of a diagnosis to even be functional as a human being is just absolutely miraculous, let alone be able to continue his job. 
Before he was kind of quiet, reserved, didn't really talk much, and now he talks a lot. <laughs> he restored me. I got back everything that I need and more. I got two girls, I got a happy wife. God has helped us to not just move forward, but to prosper. If you just trust him, he'll provide you what you need and more. <laughs>